Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today is the day that I'm going to go through exactly what my boat is that I use. A lot of people have been asking, you know, what the boat is. Uh, it looks like a pontoon boat. They can see parts of it in the videos. And let's go ahead and talk about the boat today. My 2019 Sun Tracker Fishing Barge 20. Here we go. Man, we're not going fishing, but let's go to the boat. Walking down onto the dock here, the first thing is, of course, the, the door is right here on the uh, left side of the boat, and that's pretty standard with all pontoon boats now. Uh, the nice thing about the fishing barge, as you know, I am fish brain chain, so I do fish quite often, and uh, this is set up for fishing first and family fun first. <laughs> uh, I guess kind of 1A and 1B, fishing first and uh, family fun kind of second but not really um, on each side of the front here there are pole holders um, they hold two poles you can jam another one in there if you need to and these are great for the rocket bobbers and for tools like your uh, like your pliers I have uh, a bag for my front anchor right there because I don't like the uh, anchor on the on the deck uh, right on the front here they got cup holders uh, again, they have tool holders and uh, kind of some built-in pole holders, but I don't really use them for that. It's mostly for cup holders and for pliers, things like that to help get hooks out of fish. And then, of course, I have mounted to the front of my boat uh, a 70-pound thrust Minn Kota. I believe it's the Tarova, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, it is the Power Drive. So the Minn Kota Power Drive is what I'm rocking right now. And now I'm gonna talk about my electronics a little bit more later because that is the next thing I'm gonna upgrade on my boat. But with this, uh, on this uh, Minn Kota Power Drive, I actually do have iPilot, but not iPilot Link. And iPilot Link is such a great feature because as you know, it allows you to follow contours exactly. And if, you know, fish are biting in a certain amount of water, you can follow it and um, at any rate that's next right so again on this side we've got another set of pole holders and then two seats in the front both obviously riding and fishing seats and then the seat right here in front of the driver's compartment and I haven't even cleaned the boat up for this you guys it's been sitting out in the weather so please excuse any dirt um, nice big uh, as you've probably seen on the channel a nice big live well underneath that seat and in the back of this seat plenty of storage right now we have one of our uh, life jackets right on top some pole covers things like that underneath there so then we get to the l couch over here we've got a nice l couch right now we have the table set up this table is removable for a little bit more walking room and there's a lot of storage in the back of this L couch right here. There's not a storage in that one. And as you saw, Leo got to this on me, but um, tons of storage back here. And underneath here is the dry storage bin where I keep a lot of my electronics and things like that when I'm not here. Tackle, stuff like that.
All right, let's move on to the back of the boat. Now, as you can see, I keep some storage back here with a few more essentials like life jackets and actually some grill items because I do have a mount that I put on back here for my stainless steel grill. So I do keep a few grill items in there. I also have mounted or attached to the side some of these tackle box holders that kind of help keep tackle organized. In the back here, you have a very nice uh, long, uh, deep, I don't know what they call it, but it's a very long ladder. It's much longer than normal ones, or at least a little bit longer than normal ones, so it's easier to step up on when you're uh, swimming in the uh, middle of the lake, which I do quite often when I'm out fishing because it gets pretty hot. And then uh, I do have another live well back here. I mostly keep that one for bait. I'll put my minnows in there and run the water over the top of them and keep them alive. Uh, I don't use that a lot for fish. Most of the time I use the front live well for fish. I do have a, uh, on this boat, I, I opted for the Mercury four stroke 90 horse motor. Um, I am very happy with that motor. It does get good gas mileage, has good power. I can do about 24 miles an hour with almost 22, uh, a 22 foot boat. Um, and of course it being a pontoon boat. So I know a lot of you uh, bass guys and uh, smaller boat guys are like, man, that's, that's nothing. I'm doing 40, I'm doing 50, but that's, that's pushing it pretty good on a little pontoon boat that's, uh, that's just for fishing. Of course, we have another fishing seat back here. We have a pocket for uh, more storage right there. That's where this table will fit away into. And usually we put our fishing nets and things like that in there. And then another rod holder back here. Um, for trolling, we do have a rod holder right here, but I don't use it very often. I actually attach trolling rod holders to the sides back here, and that's how I troll. Um, my transducer is mounted to this uh, pontoon down below there. Um, so it, it rides about a foot, foot and a half below the water. So I always figure things of about a foot and a half more than what the, uh, the fish finder's reading. Um, and of course, 35 gallon tank, um, cleats on all four corners. And then you get to the driver's compartment. That is one of the nicest features of this boat. It has a very nice captain's chair for driving. Um, it has the easy steer, the safety steer, so it doesn't take off on you and go around in circles, that death spiral that other boats can do. Um, I'm kind of a novice when it comes to boating. Um, I have done a ton of shore fishing my whole life. I've been fishing on boats many times, but I, this is the first boat that I've owned in a number of years. So I would consider myself a novice. I run with a nine inch Garmin Striker. Um, it has side imaging, down imaging. It has imaging that I don't even know how to use yet. But I'm telling you right now, one thing that it does do for me is it helps me to find the fish. It helps me to find the contours. And uh, I'm getting on them, boy, I'll tell you that right now. So. What a nice boat. I don't have my top up right now. That does, it is a Bimini top. It's a one man operation. It does fold completely out over the top. Probably back to about this area here, just over what would be the changing room. There is a changing room inside there, which is nice. It just folds out and has a metal, uh, kind of a metal top and everything. And uh, this curtain that comes down and we have inside of there, our porta potty. Um, kind of for emergency use or for the ladies. So um, that is kind of the interior boat setup for my boat. Um, it makes for a great fishing boat, I gotta tell you. Um, I absolutely love it. I love this boat. I gotta tell you, my wife actually convinced me to get a pontoon boat. I wanted to just get a regular fishing boat, but I'm so glad that I got this because I've got two live wells. I've got tons of room to walk around. I mean, look at all this room for activity. I'm just going back and forth and I just love it, man. As you can see, when I get out on the lake, I'll go to any corner of this boat and just absolutely fish and catch fish. And I just go all over the place. And I feel like it's kind of my own floating little island that a lot of people don't get with their fishing boats. You just don't get that. So um, thanks for watching my video. Uh, check out my other fishing videos to see how I put this boat to use. And uh, I guess for now, Fish Brain Shane, out.